Hello, Leo, and welcome to Lotus Spirit Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen, and this is going to be a timeless message for you. So whenever you come across this, that's when you're meant to hear it. Uh, before we get started, I do want to let you know that I am available for personal readings or Reiki session at this time. And if you are interested in booking yours, there will be a little lotus flower up here at the end of the reading. You can click on that. It takes you right to the booking site or there is a link in the description box below. Um, when you get over there, click on book now, and that opens up a page that shows all the different types of readings that I do. Don't forget to scroll, I have many to offer. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy here, please? What is the overall energy? Show us clearly for Leo. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. Divine Source Creator. Thank you. All right. So, Leo, what we got going on for you here is meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So I really like this energy, um, Leo. Piscean energy is very creative. It's 12th house energy. It's where we can use our imagination in order to bring things into our reality. So how do we get there? Meditating, daydreaming, sketching, uh, journaling, okay, um, and contemplating here. I like this energy for you because, Leo, you tend to be go, 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 which is great, but and it is. I mean, you're the sun card in tarot, which I love, but it's like the divine is asking you to slow down, okay? to take some time to close your eyes, get in that meditative state in order for new ideas to come in, in order for you to have new dreams and new goals um, or expand on your dreams and goals. And I feel like it's going to come to you. There's going to be new ideas. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like the Ace of Wands. There's going to be new ideas, new inspiration that's coming in for you. And then the contemplating is, what direction do I want to go, right? How do I want to get to this new goal? How do I want to expand on my current goals or my current manifestations? So this is very good energy because it's a start of something new. Let's get into the tarot here and see what else we have. Show me for Leo, please, angels, guides, ancestors. Show me for Leo, please. And don't forget to check your other placements, right? Your rising, your moon, your Venus, your north node. They're all important. All right. Show me clearly for Leo, please. Show me clearly. What does Leo need to know? Wow. Look at this. So first off, we've got the Ten of Cups, which I absolutely love because the Cups energy the Ten of Cups is the happiness, the joy, the bliss, the rainbow of blessings that comes in. It is very uh, idealistic. So what would your ideal life look like? Ten of Cups is a very happy card, a very satisfying card. So again, I feel like for you, Leo, in order to get to that Ten of Cups energy, you have to close your eyes, right, and imagine Everything that's ever been created has been through the imagination. Everything. Everything you look at, you touch, you see has been created through imagination. So again, you can create something brilliant, but you have to take the time to meditate, to get clear answers, if you will. Along with that came the Queen of Cups, which I love also because that is that intuitiveness that is that connection with the 12th house that is the connection to spirit here using your intuition meditation is a form of using your intuition right so i feel like with the snake here too you're shedding an old skin leo in order for something a bit grander for some of you these are like new inspirations but for others of you this is like taking your inspiration and you're working on it and it's coming together and now you're like wait wait let's make it bigger I feel like there's something in your life you need to make bigger whether that is going for the bigger promotion or 
you know, let's say you were building a house, adding another addition to it, but whatever this is, and that's just generalities, but whatever it is for you, Leo, make it bigger. I feel like making it bigger. You're not going big enough. Show me clearly for Leo. Thank you. Okay, Leo, the Empress, love it, okay? So you have a lot of feminine energy here, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female, we have both in us. But this feminine energy is about nurturing this, this inspiration, nurturing it. The Empress yearns for nothing, right? I often equate her to a, a gardener right? She plants the garden, she takes care of it, she waters it, she loves it, she feeds it. She also knows this knows the sun has to come in and do its job, right? Taking action with that. Um, but I feel like with this energy, it's like, make that garden bigger. Make that garden bigger. And it doesn't have to be just on one project. And I don't want you to get like into a spot, Leo, where you're you know, got so many things going on, you can't concentrate. But if you think of a garden, it's not just one vegetable, right? There's many different vegetables in that garden, and you can tend to a few at a time. But every single image here looks very peaceful and very calm. So again, calming yourself, taking time to be with yourself, to meditate, to expand on these ideas, or to get new ideas. Right? That could be starting a new business. That could be loving yourself so completely that you're bringing a bigger love in, right? It's going to be different for all of you, Leo, but I, I really like this calmness of this energy. Show me clearly. What is the message for Leo, please? Whoa. Whoa. What is the message for Leo, please? Show me. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah. So the five of scepters here is the five of wands. And the five of wands can talk about practice. Like continuing to put work into something. You can't meditate once and think that you're just, you know, <laughs> oh, I'm good. It's, it's a daily practice. So I feel like putting effort into it and putting practice into it is the whole key here. Right? putting more effort into whatever this is for you and keep practicing it and answers will come. Because remember, the, the wand's energy is is inspiration, right? And I feel like the more you practice the meditation or the more you practice and put effort into what you're doing, the more inspiration you get. Yeah, look at that. It's like you're destined to do this with the Wheel of Fortune here. Like you're destined to go in this direction to make it bigger. If anybody can make it bigger, it's Leo. If anybody can make it brighter, it's Leo. Like this is a destined opportunity for you to move that wheel, right? To move that wheel into your fortune, into your destiny here. And I feel like spirit is helping you when we have the major arcana come out. That's truly your spiritual team coming in and saying, hey, let's move this wheel. Let's make it bigger. Let's put more energy into it. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo. What is going on for Leo, please? That is so funny here. I did call it, right? It said the Ace of Wands would come out, and it surely did. With, so listen, new inspiration, bigger inspiration, getting excited, going bigger. And then you have the Nine of Grails, which is the Nine of Cups, and that is the wish fulfillment, right? So that is, I'm feeling really good about what I'm doing and the energy and what I'm putting into this. And I'm getting new ideas, and I'm learning how to expand my knowledge and to be exciting. And then you just have to decide with the two of scepters, which is the two of wands, how do I move forward? And if you're not sure how to move forward, more meditation or more asking questions, right? Ask more questions and the answers will come. Whether they come from 
your higher self or they come from the universe or they come from somebody you know that was meant to be in your life that can answer those questions how do I take the next step where do I go from here but this is exciting energy very exciting energy for you so whatever you focus on right now and make sure it's the positive that's where you find success Show me clearly what is going on for Leo, please. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo. And I do think you take a lot of action with this. Because it's almost like, okay, this is the Ace of Wands, which is normally handed to you by the hand of God, right? But if you look at this two of wands, he's only got the one in his hand. So instead of just sitting and contemplating, he's taking action with it. He's moving forward with this inspiration, being able to get that job, find that love, create that business. What Again, whatever it is for you, it's going to be different for all of you, Leo. But this is really beautiful energy of slowing down, meditation, taking your time. And then being able to take what you've learned, practice it, move that wheel of fortune, and be inspired and create something big and feeling very satisfied. And then we have the crow moon, messages, callings, and gifts. Messages come through meditation. The wheel of fortune is a destiny card. It is your calling. You do have a gift. You have something to share. Okay? I love this, Leo. Leo, do not forget to like, share, and comment. I read each and every one. If you need to book your own personal reading or Reiki session right here, all of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.